I was always taught that charity has to be kind of a, a give and take. It completes something about yourself, and that's why you do it. It's important to get back to your community, get back to mankind. It does your heart good. It gets you up in the morning, so to speak. It's really rewarding at the end of the day when you can kind of help someone out. My name is Ashley Turner and I am the volunteer partner of the American Red Cross for the Disaster Program Specialist. I work heavily with our volunteer services department, onboarding new volunteers as they come in. I think a lot of people think the Red Cross is the big disasters, and obviously that's something we respond to, but everyone kind of forgets what we really do respond to, which are the everyday disasters, which are the single family fire. My name is Sean Weta. I am a Red Cross volunteer. We go out to fires in the city here, and we're there within 60 minutes. This is some place where I can really make a difference for people. I know how to, you know, relate to them because of having the experience that I had growing up in a fire. My name's Guy Forte, and I've been volunteering with American Red Cross for seven and a half years. Being ready for a disaster, it takes a lot of preparation, a lot of logistics. When someone calls and says they need a shelter, it's ready to go. And it all starts right here in the warehouse and ends up at a shelter. Just because you retire, that's not the end of your life. You got all that work behind you, so I thought I'd volunteer and now I've got all this work ahead of me. <laughs> but I love it. Once you kind of get that benefit of like, oh, I'm actually making a difference, I think it keeps you engaged in the Red Cross and makes you more committed as a volunteer. I don't know what it is, the feeling that I get after you've taken care of somebody, so, I mean, it's just amazing. You're a family, the Red Cross people are, and it takes a lot of guts and it takes a lot of compassion.